Hi guys, Dr. Wendy Dearborn here from the Laws of Attraction in Action and that's the Laws of Attraction in Action.com and the Facebook page. Today we're going to be talking about the 21 Day Forgiveness Project and you, okay? The 21 Day Forgiveness Project and you, but before we get to that, be sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification button so every time I upload a video, you'll be notified. It goes straight to your inbox. So guys, what is the 21 Day Forgiveness Project and how does this impact your life? Well guys, we're going to get right to that. The 21 Day Forgiveness Project and your simple self, your simple self-forgiveness technique. Why is it important? In order for you to manifest, whether through prayer or through affirmation, that which you say that you want, forgiveness has to be a huge part of the foundation upon which you stand spiritually. Forgiveness, or the lack of it, has been the obstacle to many people not being able to experience in totality that which, that which they want to have in their life. Many people don't understand that without being able to forgive, and I mean truly forgive, that there are blocks that become hurdles and some of them are damn near insurmountable. Forgiveness is the key or one of the key elements required, once again, for you to be able to manifest, for you to be able to bring into your life through prayer, through your spoken word, that which you say that you want. You see, what forgiveness does for you, it frees up spiritual real estate, mental real estate, emotional real estate, um, creative real estate, manifestation real estate, law of attraction real estate, laws of attraction real estate. It frees up space. There's a universal law that says no two things can occupy the same space at the same time. So if you have and are harboring things that no longer serve you, because you may believe in this, this adage, forgive, but don't forget. Or you may just be holding on to stuff. If you don't have that real estate empty, if you don't have that space empty, that which you say that you want through um, the spoken word, through desire, through prayer, cannot be made manifest. The blessings cannot be showered. There's nowhere for them to go. Forgiveness supports you in being able to get what you want in life. This is a universal law. This is God's law. And you are under law. In the same way you are under grace, you are under law. This is how we work through the universal laws, the spiritual laws, immutable laws. They are laws nonetheless. And you are under law. As long as you're living and breathing, you're under law. So, forgiveness. Forgiveness has to start with you. That's bottom line. Forgiveness must start with you. You cannot forgive anybody or anything, nor can you accept forgiveness from anybody or anything if you don't know what forgiveness feels like. That's like trying to teach somebody to drive and you've never driven. You've never, ne you've never been in a car. You have never been in a vehicle with four wheels. How are you going to teach somebody to drive? How? You don't even really know what it feels like outside of what your imagination said. Forgiveness has to start with you. You cannot forgive anybody else until you know what it feels like to forgive yourself. Now, self-forgiveness for me is one of the most powerful things that you can do for yourself. It's one of the most powerful things that you can do for yourself. My story with that goes, you know, several years ago, this maybe about seven, eight years ago now, maybe longer actually, um, I had done a meditation and every year I do a meditation to find out what it is that I need to focus on for this, for the year, 
I do this uh, uh, New Year's Eve to find out what I need to focus on for the year uh, for myself and for my um, clientele base, okay? And for the people who follow me, like you, right? And this particular year, I've got forgiveness. And based on all the things that had happened in my life, you know, like, and I'm not unique, but, you know, what led up to me having a near-death experience and this happening and that happening and losing this and losing that. And I was like, me? Forgive myself for all the stuff that has happened to me? Ha <laughs> ha, you tripping. You, you, no, you playing, you joking. But the reality is I needed that experience. I needed to know what it felt like to forgive myself so that I could move forward, so that I wasn't being held in bondage by people, places and things that no longer have relevance in my life. And for things that were taking up precious real estate, mental, emotional, spiritual, physical, taking up real estate. So with that being said, being able to forgive yourself has to start with you. Forgiveness starts with you. So, what does that look like? It's like, okay, how do I forgive myself? When I had my experience, what came to me, and this was one of those things where, bam, this flash came to me. I had to affirm to me that I forgive me and I'm going to talk about the affirmation in just a minute and what you need to do so again you have to start a dialogue with self telling self that you forgive self okay guys the dialogue has to come from you and you have to want it there are many people who are listening to this and they're like, I don't need to forgive myself. And I'm like, peace, cool. You know, I, I, I'm cool with that. Wherever you feel that you are in your life, I'm cool with that. It's not for me to say where you need to be. What it is for me to do is to present you with information that can assist and support you in getting where it is that you need to be. So, your simple forgiveness technique Forgiveness has to start with you. You can't forgive somebody if you don't know what it feels like. I mean, you can't. So once you are in accord, in, a, in accord with that, and we're on the same page, we can move forward, because now you can move forward in your life. Once again, forgiveness is the underpinning of the things that you say that you want to manifest. It is the underpinning, guys. Without it, there's no room. No two things can occupy the same space. That's a universal law. That's a God's law. And having things that need to be forgiven that you haven't is taking up, taking up precious real estate. It's like Pac-Man. It's eating up your life. Okay. So your simple forgiveness technique, and you'll be able to download this from the Facebook group in files, the technique, and or the website, uh, the laws of attraction in action.com. Go to LOA, I think it is LOA Techniques or Workshop. Click on that and you'll be able to download this, which is your Forgiveness Technique Instructions, the PDF. So, if you are in accordance with me and, you know, that you need to forgive yourself first and you may need to sit with it, but you need to forgive yourself so that you can continue to move forward in your life and be able to forgive others too, and to forgive others who you feel have wronged you, then the simple technique that we're gonna talk about will support you in doing that. And let me say this, forgive, the, forgive, uh, the forgiveness technique is something that you should be doing every day. Because every day people are gonna come along and they're gonna piss you off. Things are gonna upset you, they're gonna hurt you, um, they're gonna make you angry, they're gonna have you in a huff, they're gonna have you crying, they're gonna, this is life. And those things in life, might I add, are there to support you in your personal growth. They're showing you something, but that's a whole nother video by itself. So forgiveness is a daily thing. It's something that you do continuously. So to help you release and let go of things or to be at peace about any situation past, past and present, 
that is creating anxiety or negative emotions in your life, you need to start your forgiveness project or you need to start forgiveness of self. Now, this journey of forgiveness really isn't without challenges. And based on what has happened to you, you may feel and truly feel that other people should be asking you for their forgiveness or asking you for your forgiveness for what you feel they have done, done to you. You may feel also that you have nothing to forgive yourself for. But you do because of how you feel. Whenever, whenever forgiveness comes in the mix, takes two, baby. So for you, you cannot receive, nor can you give forgiveness, once again, if you don't know what it feels like. So forgiveness has to start with you. Your journey to explore forgiveness of self is a practice, as I said, that's gonna be for 21 days. And what I'll do is I'll check in with you on the Facebook page. Right, I'm gonna check in with you periodically to see how it's going, where you're going. Select a time of day that works perfectly for you to start your forgiveness project because it's 21 days. So this can be morning, noon, night, whatever works for you. Select a time of day and you're gonna need three to five minutes. You're not gonna need, need a long period of time. It's three to five minutes. So select a time of day that works for you. Okay guys? Make sure that you will not be disturbed. That's also very important. So somebody's not like, well, what are you doing? Ma, where's my socks? Honey, where's my keys? Blah, 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 blah. You know, the things that do happen and will happen. So make sure that you're not, you're not disturbed, okay? And that's for the next, as I said, three to five minutes, if that. Let's get into it. Your simple forgiveness technique and what to do. Now I'm gonna give you two examples of things that you can do. And I'm gonna suggest uh, either or and or create whatever it is that works for you. This is just information that you can take and tweak to suit self. But whatever you do, create your own forgiveness technique and or dynamic where you can know what it feels like to forgive self. It's really powerful. Okay, number one, stand in front of a mirror. Take three deep breaths. These are relaxing inhalation. Nice, deep, slow. Make sure you drop your shoulders and exhale, all right? Inhale, big breath, right down into your abdomen filling it up, filling your lungs, expanding your lungs and exhaling. Nice, steady and slow and relax. Tell yourself mentally to relax. Drop your shoulders. Most of us are like this. Just gently drop your shoulders in front of the mirror. Look yourself in your eye and on the paper I have eyes and I'm going to leave it that way. Look yourself in your eyes because what will happen is you'll be like, oh my God, which eye should I look in? Which, And you'll find that one eye will be a little more dominant than the other. Focus on that eye, okay? So look yourself in your eyes, choose an eye, the dominant eye for you, and focus on that eye. And then you will repeat the affirmation three times. And I'm gonna get to the affirmation in just a minute, okay? So you've got that technique. Now, for some people, mirror work is something that is too overwhelming. It, they, they just can't. And in doing that, actually, in doing the mirror work with some of my clients, some of them are able to do it and others, they, uh, they just cannot do it. It creates too much anxiety. It creates stress. Um, they're not able to focus. And for a variety of reasons, when they look at themselves, they see every imperfection, every whatever it is that's going on for them in that reflection, which is a powerful thing actually. And so they're unable to do that. So if this is you, again, sit comfortably where your back will be supported. Okay, where your back will be supported and or if you're able to just sit, sit erect. We do the same thing, you know, take your, your three deep breaths in through your nose, expanding your chest right down into your abdomen. 
hold and then ex you know ex exhale slowly nice and slowly dropping your shoulders telling yourself to relax do this three times with your eyes open or closed whichever is comfortable for you and this is about your com your comfort level as well repeat the following affirmation three times the affirmation your affirmation is words that have been put together to actually name and claim something that you want in your life. An affirmation is, for me, the same thing as a prayer. Affirmations and prayers for me are one and the same. But your affirmation are words that are, are meaningful words to you that have been put together so you can send it out into the ethos so it can go to the point of creation and come back to you in a form of a manifestation of the thing that you say that you want yeah that's how powerful your words are the life that you are living now you're living based on the words that you have spoken, whether you've spoken them out loud or you've spoken them in your mind. And of course, the emotion, the emotions you attach to them, the beliefs that you attach to them, the feelings and everything that goes with that. But that's your life. That's how powerful your words are. So that being said, I have put an affirmation here. There's an affirmation here, and this is the one that I used for me. That being said, because I used it for me doesn't mean that it's right for you. What it means is that this may give you an idea of how you want to structure your own affirmation. Because your affirmation, when you say an affirmation, it has to resonate with you. If it doesn't resonate with you, you've got another set of problems because it's going to come across as disingenuous or a lie. And that's not going to work. Okay, guys? So, the affirmation I have here is, I forgive myself for all things that I have done to myself, knowingly, unknowingly, willingly, unwillingly, consciously, unconsciously. I forgive myself. I love myself. I am free. Okay. And again, you'll be able to find that on, on, on the um, PDF printout. Once again, create, creating your own affirmation. If that doesn't work for you and or you can tweak it to work for you because this is about you. Create your own affirmation, but recognize that it needs to be in the present moment, the present tense. I am, I have, not I will, not I can, not I should, not I would. I am, I have. You are experiencing now. And that's what you want. It needs the word forgiveness in there and it needs the word free in there. So guys, I will be checking in with you over this next 21 days and that will be actually on the Facebook page just to see how you're doing, where you're at in your progress. I am doing this with you. Actually, I do this work every day. I'm, I'm a meditator and every day I do forgiveness work. I know me, I know the attitudes, the attitudes I can get and all of this. So every day I work on this and it's one of the most powerful things that I have outside of a near-death experience is one of the most powerful things that I've experienced in my life. So that being said, guys, I'm Dr. Wendy Dearborn. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. And until next time, or um, until I see you on Facebook, ask any questions you, you want. I'll get back with you. Until next time, guys, peace.